This is the Pulse of the Plankton for the week of May 10th, 2021. Fresh from the edge of San Francisco Bay, via light microscope, a snapshot of local marine plankton, the living ocean drifters. In this Pulse of the Plankton, from our week of plankton footage, came the following plankton highlights. The zooplankton, they're the animal plankton that eat other organisms. They were a wonderful mixed group of zooplankton this week. The diversity in the zooplankton was outstanding. Copepods, large and small, young and old, polychaete worms and zoea. The diversity of body shapes, this is a zoea, a baby crab. Look at those huge eyes. Can you see its beating heart? This is a villager, a baby gastropod, like a small snail drifting in the ocean with a shell so thin that it's transparent. See it peeking out of its shell? This interesting creature turned out to be a polychaete worm larva. Look at those tiny eyes. Copepods are truly the star of the sample. They move so fast through the water, and the water for them, it's as thick as honey. And now for the phytoplankton. Phytoplankton are the plant-like plankton they make their food from sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide. Now these are dinoflagellates called noctiluca, and we caught one of them in the act of reproducing. Here, if we look closer, you can see all those little flagella. Those are its offspring. And here, another dinoflagellate looking like a microscopic vase. This is oxyphysis and the diatoms. Diatoms are single-celled algae with cell walls of glass like opal. There were centric diatoms like the Lassiosyra, round and golden brown. There were chains of diatoms like Skeletonema. It's a diatom that hides its intricate beauty. It's so small you need a scanning electron microscope to see the amazing details in this microscopic organism. And then, of course, Catoceros with a long, lovely sea day. Pacific Coast Ocean Weather for the week of May 10th, 2021. Our views have been increasingly fogged in this week. Whether they were views from an outrigger canoe or a running trail or a shoreline, even from space. Here we're calling upon the satellite imagery to show us how unusually high or low phytoplankton concentrations have been in recent days. But fog on May 16th, May 15th, May 14th, 13th, 12th, and the 11th obscure our view. If we reach back to May 8th, we might find some clarity. We see patchy, anomalously high phytoplankton concentrations extending from our coastline. In Southern California, phytoplankton reports are of samples abundant with dinoflagellates. While diatoms have dominated the reports out of Central and Northern California, as they enjoy the upwelling nutrient-rich deep water fueled by the springtime northerly winds that blow along our coastline. Remember this figure? From May 3rd, 
In the figure, when we move right, it means intensifying upwelling. And if you move up, it means higher nutrients. And compared to a typical May, that yellow dot shown here along the path of our typical year, instead, we are here way, way up. Seeing the extraordinarily intense upwelling of extraordinarily rich deep water. And beneath the fog, things are continuing to flourish, both above the water and below. Hey, it's Jim Metzner, and you've been listening to The Pulse of the Plankton. Now, if you've enjoyed this program, I would encourage you to find and support your nearest national marine sanctuary, because wherever you may live, the plankton of this planet are always downstream. That was The Pulse of the Plankton for the week of May 10th, 2021. Like and subscribe for more plankton-related content.